There are also new developments tonight after the deadly alligator attack at Disney World. The autopsy results revealed more about the death of two-year-old Lane Graves today. Disney keeping its beaches closed and today installing new temporary barriers and new signs going up warning of alligators. ABC's Gio Benitez is in Orlando. Tonight, barriers are going up at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. Workers blocking access to the same beach where two-year-old Lane Graves was killed by an alligator. Disney now saying, we are installing signage and temporary barriers at our resort beach locations and are working on permanent long-term solutions at our beaches. We are reinforcing training with our cast for reporting sightings and interactions with wildlife and are expanding our communication to guests on this topic. And our first look at those signs, guess we'll see, warning of alligators. Autopsy results show Little Lane died of drowning and traumatic injury after he was grabbed by an alligator in ankle deep water. The animals can lunge at 20 to 30 miles per hour. In the blink of an eye, that gator's from the water to its prey, grabbing it and pulling it back in. I mean, in, in, in just tenths of a second. And experts warn tonight that tourists feeding alligators can make them more aggressive toward other guests at the resort. As a matter of fact, in the state of Florida, it's against the law to feed wild alligators because they are very easily trained. It's not as common knowledge, but alligators can be trained to come to food. Tonight, back in Nebraska, family and friends of the Graves family offering support with prayers and blue ribbons. As a neighborhood, we hope they just feel the love, basically, you know, of how much we care about them. And David, tonight I'm told Disney will be putting up those alligator warning signs around the rest of the property very soon. They're still trying to decide if they'll ever open those beaches again. David. Gio, thank you.